I am particularly pleased having regard to that track record which has seen him advising the government on some of the most important pieces of legislation which has been passed in this territory over the last almost two decades. And so for that reason, I would like, and I would like to invite my colleagues at the bar to stand and give a rousing ovation for Attorney General, the Honorable Bawa Aziz. Milady, the Chief Justice, Justices of Appeal, Justices of the High Court, Cabinet colleagues, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I have heard from Milady, the Chief Justice. I've also heard from Honorable Sir Hugh Rawlings, former Chief Justice. I have heard the historical record from my very good friend, Ms. Don Smith. With these three historical records, I think I'll be doing myself a disservice if at short notice I try to rehearse what had taken place in the establishment of the commercial division of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. I do know that I worked behind the scenes during the establishment of the court. I will recall that there were so many contracts that my very good friend, the Honorable uh, Whitley, passed on continually on my desk to complete works on the commercial division of the High Court. I think I can remember from the top of my head that the price of the former Banco Popular was about $600,000 at the time. I also, behind the scene, knew about the wrangling and disputations about whether the court should be a division of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court or it should be a standalone court. I know it was won by those who insisted that it should be part of the Eastern, it should be part of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. I do know for sure Honorable Justice Webster belonged to that group that wanted it to be part of the uh, Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. And for that, we are the better for it. I wish to welcome everybody. I wish to welcome all the distinguished ladies and gentlemen. And I would say that for purposes of duration, our court is infantile. But for the quality of the judgments that come from the court, it has matured. And the, the judgments are comparable to any judgment anywhere in the world. And we are proud that at 10 years, our court has achieved that distinction. May I note, I, I don't pass this moment without saying that despite the quantum leap of China as an economic powerhouse, you will all agree with me that the great innovations of the 20th century the free enterprise that has brought about stability, peace, and prosperity for mankind has been laid on the foundation of democracy, the rule of law, not the rule of men, not the rule, not the rule of the law, independent judiciary, 
which are free financially and have security of tenure. It is in that context that we should look at the commercial division of the High Court. And I would urge, I would urge all of us, governments, the judiciary, the executive, to continue to support the rule of law and democracy, to support the judiciary. Because when we have these essential elements in any given society, societies will progress. May I state further that we also need the free media. We need separation of powers. Without this, societies will not progress. And I know very well that where there is culture of silence, countries will not progress. So it is up to all of us to speak for democracy, irrespective of what the consequences will be. And I would continue to say that for those who enjoy democracy, they fail to realize that if there's no democracy, there is perdition. And I have lived in a dictatorship, and I know what it looks like. With that, I say congratulations to the commercial division of the High Court of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. I would wish, for those who read, recently there was a BVI company Process and Industrial Development Company Limited versus Federal Republic of Nigeria. This company is a BVI registered company. It made a whopping 9.5 billion in judgments in the commercial division of the High Court of England. It was an arbitration award. If we have a slice of that amount, I think we will all be the better for it. <laughs> so what are we to do, members of cabinet? How do we get a slice of this? How do we build the BVI to ensure that companies registered in the BVI would prefer the BVI as the place for judicial resolution of dispute? With that, again, season's greetings, and welcome to the 10th anniversary of the Commercial Division of the House. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney General, for those heartfelt remarks.